Apparently those primitive technology channels are fake. Let's check this out. Almost every single primitive building channel is underpinned by countless different lies and we've got tons of evidence to prove it. Wait, this is fake? The primitive building where they like build the tunnels and jacuzzis and stuff? Users continued to mention one name over and over, crediting him as legitimate amongst the sea of phonies. Primitive technology. It becomes Wait, so pretty this guy's obvious legit? Additionally, primitive technology has been kind enough to provide us with a statement, which will be referred to as we look at the channels on the other end of the spectrum, also known as the fakers. Oh God. Now we're getting to the juicy part. On these channels, the buildings were taller, the slide- What the- Wait, just off of looking at this, they expect me to believe this was done by hand? Bro, you got a whole Disney park in here, bro. This is Disney World, Universal level. What's going on? All of these channels range from the exact same area, being Cambodia, Thailand, or Vietnam, yet mm. often geotag the United States, claim to be living in the United States, and have their social blade country set to the United States. Let me guess, they're all linked. They're all made by the same agency. Overall production and build quality on these channels is arguably far more impressive than the OG primitive technology to the point where you have to ask yourself, are they really creating these structures out of mud and sticks? Well, when you do a little bit of research, the answer to this question is most certainly no. The best evidence for this is found when looking at a 5 million subscriber channel called Primitive Technology Idea, whose failure to cover up the ways in which they fake their videos make them almost comical to watch. Take for example this episode titled Building Underground Water Maze. I swear to God, building underground water maze, crocodile of the secret underground house and swimming pool. You would think that's a Minecraft title. Even the thumbnail looks like Minecraft. The first shot shows two men digging on the surface. Then in the next frame, the end. What? We're cutting that much? Bro, in the next frame? Now, if they're digging this deep with sticks, how are they avoiding large rocks and potential tree roots from, you know, the massive line of trees seen just behind them? Are they being assisted by large machinery? Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's focus on the idea that it's only two people doing these impressively large primitive construction projects. If that's what they were attempting to portray, it probably would have been best not to include the clip where a guy in a white t-shirt can be seen working on the project. You need some new editors, man. You gotta cut around this stuff. You gotta hit up Oni Studios. We got you, bro. At the start of the week, a community post was made on this channel in the hope that someone who had worked with one of these primitive builders would be willing to share their experience in doing so. We received countless emails which were all super helpful, yet one email stood out as being incredibly unique. That email was, incredibly, from one of the cameramen who works for one of these larger Southeast Asian primitive building channels. His name and the channel Dang. he works for have both been blurred out, as it'd be a little unfair for him to get in trouble for simply trying to help out, but the email began by stating, as you may have suspected, it's not as streamlined as the video would suggest. It is a large operation as you may suspect with a large team of us behind it. After we then offered to answer any questions we had about their channel, we attempted to figure out how many different people will work on the actual construction part of the project from start to finish, to which he would respond, it is depending on the scale of the project, but no less than one no dozen less or more. Than one dozen going or more. On to, there is also a hired architect to obviously make sure the structure will not collapse and will last long enough to film in, and obviously afterwards many editors are involved. Yeah, those editors need to get fired, bro. What the they're not paying attention. In case an email from someone who works from one of these primitive builders isn't enough evidence, it's time to introduce a different channel called Photo Expression, who incredibly stumbled upon one of these primitive construction sites before capturing over eight minutes of footage with a drone. We'll refer to different uh, parts- they got caught in 4K? There's initially a clip where eight different workers can be seen standing around a rectangular hole in the jungle, followed by another grainier clip from a far distance, where somewhere between seven and 10 people can be seen building a swimming pool. If they were honest about how many people were working on each project, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, first of all, they're missing the point. People are watching this mainly like for like a relaxation ASMR experience, right? If they were up front and they were like, we're building this with like 10 people and we're using some support for machinery, it's not going to affect the views that much. Realistically, it might not even affect that at all. Some of these videos specifically state in the description that I've been working hard with my two friends about a hundred days to completely build, when in reality, it's a whole team working for only three to 10 days, depending on the project, as mentioned in the email response from the cameraman. Going back to the statement made to us by Primitive Technology, he seemed to imply that maybe the fire making in their videos was fake. What do you mean the fire is fake? That looked real. Are they CGIing the fire? It's hardly surprising that he brought this up, as when you compare his meticulous method of creating fire in the wild to the fire making of these Southeast Asian primitive channels, as mentioned previously, it becomes comical. What? They slap a couple of rocks together before beginning an explosive fire on large logs. Firebenders. Only explanation. 
if they've faked simpler things then they're most certainly faking more complicated ones which turns out to be true as when looking at another video by primitive technology idea it becomes obvious that not only are these guys faking simple things such as fire these guys are also faking the most labor intensive exercise of all the digging process itself this video with over 63 million views begins as most do a shirtless guy draws a big circle and begins to dig it out let me guess only... it cuts into a <laughs> yeah it cuts into him three feet into the ground in the next frame suddenly there's spray paint on the ground that they forgot to rub out additionally on the wall of the hole these long smooth cuts can be seen which are completely incomparable to the cuts being made by the stick turns out spray paint marks weren't the only thing that they forgot to rub out as in the minutes that follow excavated tracks can be seen here 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 and here no i'm not doing this right bro in a different video by the same channel the same person can be seen working very hard digging out a similar hole which to their credit contains no excavator tracks around it one mistake they did make however was that they forgot to take the actual excavator out of the top right hand corner this is an insult. You're not even trying. The video in which the excavator can be seen in plain sight then goes on to strangely display the collection of concrete from a river, which is the exact same clip reused from the previous video. They're using the same clip in different videos? Now, why would they reuse the same clip twice in two different videos? Well, it's because collecting concrete from a river is completely and utterly bogus. Concrete doesn't grow in a river. Wait, they're, they're bullshitting about the concrete? What's even funnier is that every single one of these channels has their own unique method for creating natural concrete this <laughs> you're just inventing ways to make concrete oh lord channels concrete is simply a mix of dirt and water which if you think about it for two seconds doesn't create concrete and rather creates muddy water or mud which is just dirt after the water dries this other channel gets a little bit more creative with it by taking a chunk they go mining out of a termite nest grinding it down into powder mixing it with water then concreting an entire pool with this bro the dragon what the Bro, they're in creative mode, man. Like this, that's all that's happening. Compared You'll notice when looking at the bamboo that each branch has a suspiciously clean cut on the end. Compare this to primitive technology, the legitimate channel from Australia, who in one video displays what the end of a log should actually look like. And you'll notice pretty quickly that these pieces of bamboo weren't naturally yeah, cut. What on the the that's these a pieces clean of cut. bamboo weren't either, which as displayed in the video, were attached together then used to siphon water from a river to the pool. Only there was no river. Photo Expression found the exact site of this pool, then stated in his video that in reality, the closest water source was more than six kilometers away. Instead, he found a bunch of blue plastic piping attached to a tap in the ground. Going back to the email from the cameraman, the water for their channel just comes in cubic containers that is transported there. A very funny part is any scene where you see them sourcing water from some magnificent waterfall or lake, They're actually going somewhere perhaps hundreds of kilometers away and pretending to take it back. The oh video on which God. Photo Expression had stumbled upon various completed primitive builds also showed that after these channels are finished building, the sites are simply left to rot. This video doesn't speak for every Southeast Asian primitive building channel, but in this particular case, rubbish was left everywhere, including, as you might guess, cement bags. The and fact that they're the video littering, bro? Ain't no way, man. Come on. Now, if this was public rainforest, you could probably consider this a pretty big deal, but according to the cameraman's email, at least on their channel, every build is done on privately owned land, which is leased for the purposes of the video. Okay, okay, not that bad. The owner of the land is, is okay with it, I guess. If the builds are being completed on privately owned land, it's a little narcissistic to comment on what they should and shouldn't do with it. Primitive Technology, the original legitimate Australian channel, put it best in his email to us when he said, my advice to people who really want to know if the techniques on display are legitimate is to put them into practice and see. Ain't nobody got time for that, bro. I'm not about to go put it into practice. He added that these corner cutting channels are motivated by money and status alone yeah. rather than a true interest in primitive technology. But wanting to stay out of internet drama We'll leave it up to the discerning viewer. Now, if I was doing this legit and there was some phonies faking it, I would be all up in their business. Ain't no way I'm out here in the dirt. Lots of people are using machines and dozen man crews lying about it. Nah, I'm heartbroken, man. I feel betrayed.